I broke it. This is the mallet that I made with the X-Carve that Inventables sent me. I'll fill the head about 80% full of BBs. Fortunately, it broke outside, so I didn't spread BBs all over the shop. Unfortunately, I didn't get a slow-mo video of it, so I'm going to recreate that scene with the other two I have. So what's happening here is when you swing the mallet down, the BBs get a bunch of momentum. And then when you hit, they have nowhere to go. And so they basically build up a bunch of pressure inside the head. So obviously if the glue joint isn't strong enough and there's a bunch of pressure in the head, it's gonna blow it apart. Now, this little mallet right here, I use it continually. I can't stand to be without it. But now I was scared to use this one after one broke so I have to come up with a way to make one of these stronger so it'll stay together. I know you're going to tell me that I shouldn't have used plywood on this, but actually solid wood is no better choice. This plywood has really strong glue joints, and you can see on about half of this, it actually broke the wood and not the glue joint. Here it broke the glue joint. But even if I were to use solid wood, these thicker outside pieces would still have to be glued on, so I would still have a glue joint. And these plywood glue joints are just as strong as my own glue joints. Unfortunately, there is just no good way to do this with wood. So what I came up with is to make this little steel capsule that holds all of the BBs. That way, if the mallet ever breaks, these aren't going to go flying all over the shop. And this is just thin wall, one inch square tube with end caps welded on. Fill it with BBs about three-fourths full. Now the steel capsule is done, so I can use my CNC router to cut my logo into the head of the mallet. Here I'm just using the V-bit to cut around the perimeter of what will be the mallet, and that way the logos will be perfectly centered on the head. It's a lot quicker to cut this out on the bandsaw than to let the CNC do the actual cutout, at least on the outside. When it came to doing the inside, I wish I had just let the CNC cut it out. The scroll saw is a pain. All right, that fits perfectly. Now you'll see this part with the BBs in it is a little thicker than the handle section. 
So I'll have to cut a recess into these pieces for that to fit. And now we have another glue up. This one's fairly simple since the steel part keeps everything aligned. Now with just a little final cleanup on the sander, this thing's going to be pretty much done. If you're wondering what the advantage of a dead blow mallet is, here's a non-dead blow in slow motion. See that bounce? Now here's a dead blow in slow motion. No bounce. The reason this works is because the BBs hit a split second later than the rest of the mallet. And here's ultra slow. You can see after the initial hit, it never leaves contact with the table. And that's it. It's done. Except for finish. There's a variety of ways I could finish this, but I think I'm going to ask you to weigh in in the comments and let me know how I should finish this. Varnish, shellac, oil, paint. It's going to get beat up really bad and that's totally fine. So I need something that looks good when it's beat up. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you would like to see and I will post the result to Instagram. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.